Good evening, everyone, and welcome to session 13 of our Noobs That Can't Crit presents Pirates of the Sword Coast. Um, we are back. It's been a little bit of time. It's been, what, three weeks-ish since we last had a, a session, so uh, we're back at it here. Um, we have... Uh, full house again tonight. Uh, myself with uh, Dom and Presmir. Gary's here with Madisk and Jax. And of course, we have Steve with Bilchin and Swiftwood. And as always, the Honorable. And, you know, it's because it's magic. He ain't got to explain shit. DM. So. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Yeah. So without further ado, we'll hand it over to Gary to provide the recap. <laughs> Just let me minimize the map. There you go. I know it just popped up over it. Right, right over the lap. All right, so we left off with uh, Madison Jazz had a great swim. They were just finishing up from the giant frogs. Um, they decided to move south and then again west as they're moving nope. to the caverns. Nope. Yeah, there was a door in this room, and they hear voices. We're not. We're not Celia. even. Celia. Nope. That's from the 8th. That's the very last set of notes. Yeah, I remember we, we had the, the battle yeah. underneath. He's right. Oh, right, right. But okay. So you guys, yeah, because I thought we left, I thought we finished that, the part before, and then the next part was Dorney in town. No, no, we, we just uh, yeah. did that part. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, sorry. So it's Celia, and she's talking to an unknown voice. Unfortunately, the, we weren't sneaky enough. They heard us at the door, and she sends muscle to distract the comrades. A massive monster takes center stage, and combat begins. The monster is actually an abomination with multiple parts in all the wrong places. Uh, the, ba the battle actually goes by swiftly, and the comrades were successful. Uh, stack of notes were found for professor and place in the comrades bag of holding uh, the comrades head back up to the surface uh, they meet the bartender and receive a reward and all the glory the bartender passes on the ward uh, that the mayor uh, is waiting to meet with them the group uh, the group decides to meet with the mayor the following morning he treats them to breakfast um, at, at the mayor's house ram the mayor offers the group uh, besides breakfast, um, an adventure. Um, he wants them to go find his son. Um, his son went missing on an expedition to find gold on one of the nearby islands, and he offers the group a thousand gold uh, to go find uh, his uh, to go find them, uh, and shows them his family crest, which is on his son's cape. Um, he offers the, he also offers the group free transportation to this island and assures them that the boat will be uh, will be safe here in the island and the comrades level up and that's where we end off yep excellent I believe that was everything yep so and no that's where we left off um, so we haven't actually just... left yet no. Um, are we pondering still... this idea, or are we act we're actually going to take them up on the offer? Are we? As far as I know, you guys accepted the offer. Cool. Yeah, we accepted it. We said we'd go hunt down his little son and bring him back safely and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, the, boat's are, ready to, the boat will be ready to leave any time you guys want, so you guys can take as much time as you want in town. Um, there is a couple items, um, if you remember, that you guys should look at. Yeah, it's the magical item. Staff. Right, right. Yeah, but we need to find if there's anyone in town that can help identify it. Right. Yeah, and uh, just an FYI, we have a lurker in the channel tonight. Cool. Shh. It's our old-time buddy from the... Um, Noobs That Can't Crit series that we were doing on... Uh, what was it? Out of the Abyss, was it again, Paul? Yeah. Yeah, out of the abyss. We have uh, Pete here. He's deciding to sit in here and creep and uh, listen to what we got going on. Welcome. Nice. Um, just a little tip. Somebody should really check one of their characters out. DM tip of the day. Let's call that. 
I'm not gonna check say inventory English. or check health. Check your character sheet. Somebody should check the character sheet. I'm not gonna tell you where, but something helpful at this point in time. <laughs> It's too cryptic. <clears throat> well, I don't want to give it away. I want you to actually look for it. Am I still supposed to be wounded? No. No, you're not. I'll fix that in the combat tracker. Uh, none of you guys should be... Let's give you guys a long rest. That should cure. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Um, I'll narrow it down. It would be somebody that had spells. Oh, well, that that line that that minus is Jackson Mattis. <coughs> Belgian. <laughs> I'm looking at him. I don't see nothing. <laughs> so bloody right. obvious. Okay, here, fine then. Um, must proceed. I see cure wounds. My detect magic. Everything. Right. Keep reading. Identify shield of faith. Oh jeez! What's you identify? Gotta identify do? You gotta identify magic, don't you? The yes, spell. Yes, I've done that quite a while. Yeah, I put that in there for that reason. Why don't you, you could identify the thing? Yes, but see, no one asked me if I would. See, no one's asked. Yeah, we'll leave it at I... that's the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, don't you remember this character's name is Backstabber for a reason? <laughs> It will cost you a hundred gold as group to. Ooh, I get a hundred gold. The gym. The gym. No, you don't get the hundred gold. It costs. Uh, uh, you're gonna need a pearl. Oh, or at least a okay, hundred yeah. gold pieces and two owl feathers. The owl feathers I'll give you as common. As Trash common feathers. Now, if you have any gems that are worth 100 gold pieces i will so let you guys use those as the purple. so who's coughing up the 100 gold to identify a weapon for uh prismere you're just all gonna do it as like say 25 25 20 or whatever well let's look at your let me look at the bag of holding inventory because i think i gotta think of how pretty his lips are to see if he's worth wasting i think he has pretty good lips we have 1,100 gold in the bag of holding. Yeah. Worst case scenario, Prismir's got 190, so he can save his pretty lips from being tortured. <laughs> I like his pretty lips. The, the choice is yours. There is a, a vendor in town that sells this kind of stuff. Um, you know, he may be able to help you guys identify some of those objects that you have as well. Well, you, well, you know what would be? We you send our big sex appeal over. He can talk Ooh. his way through anything. Ooh, Madisk. Prasmir. Right. <laughs> oh, Go see if he can't work his magic. I mean, he already got one thing cheaper than normal. And, you know, he has really pretty tusks. I mean, and he, he used to be, you know, a member of, like, the soldiers and stuff, right? So, I mean, that would probably work, too. Jax was, yeah. Member of the what? Uh, was Jax was a member of the soldiers. soldiers or something. Yeah, but remember, he's also in running from them. If he brings it up to the wrong people, we could be in shit. <laughs> you know, you just don't leave the army like that, right? <laughs> but he is so pretty. what are you guys doing? I don't care when we just split the 100 gold. I think so. Take it away from everybody. Yeah. All right, everybody. That way it doesn't fight. affect... That way, it doesn't hurt our part, you know, our boat buying ability. Yeah. Because it's only 25. Yeah, everybody take 25 out. Does now, anybody not have 25? We should all have 25. You should all have 25, unless somebody went on a major sprinting spree. Well, I haven't even gone yet. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Really, this guy doesn't right. so much. So make sure everybody subtracts it. Yep. Okay. Well, technically, it's 100 gold, so it's not 25. There's eight of us. No. Two, four, six. Yeah, yeah. There's six of us, so it's, uh, it's what? It's like, uh, it's not 20, because that would be five. So then it'd be like 17 point something. 
Sixteen point six. So sixteen sixty cat silver. So can we just say an even sixteen? All right. Seventeen you silver. Haggled him. Or even no, seventeen. Haggled, I'll take that. You, you haggled him down to sixteen silver a piece. Yay! There we go. That's perfect. Come on, Max. You gotta play the character. No. Sixteen gold pieces a piece. <laughs> yeah, nice try, Brendan. <laughs> he said yeah, so. Yeah, very nice. Okay, fine. So, uh, I should cast your fine. ritual spell with the pearl. Couldn't uh, I have a whole bunch of things lined up and do like a massive, like lay hands on everything that we had to identify? But then again, we only get really one thing to identify. Right now, you only have one identify. And it is touch, and it lasts for cast for one minute. You choose one object that you touch through the casting the spell. But what else besides the staff that we really have to identify? Nothing. That's it. Oh, okay. The, that's I, I, w I was talking about the gemstones and stuff from where you were buying this pearl from that you guys have that you guys can sell. Yeah, but oh, yeah. does yeah, my identify yeah. work on that too? I thought it only worked on magical items. No, no, no. it only works on magical. I'm talking about the guy that that the sold guy that we bought the pearl. pearl could identify the gems we have. Right. Okay, that makes sense. But I could have swore you said last time there was no one in town that could identify those. Yeah, well, there is. He came. He's a traitor. Yeah. Yeah, he's a traitor. He's only there until you know end of day. <laughs> so right. as you. As you cast your identify spell and touch the object, uh, the staff is ornate. You can see scroll work that covers almost every surface. Marks this weapon out as special. Um, and now, if you look in the bag of holding, <gasps> you will see what you have. Shouldn't, shouldn't I be the only one who can identify? So when I be the one, I can actually torture him, and he won't know. Technically, but, yes. Yeah, but so, I've Brennan, you don't look. I'm gonna have fun He's with this. Already, and role play you, this. You you identified it, and then you unidentified it while I was reading it. You bastard. <laughs> so just just give me a heads up if you're gonna do that in the future. So I know oh I plan we, on doing it because me and him got an online thing going on. Okay. Yeah. You, know, you know the whole frog jokes I received. You know. I said nothing about the frog. I wasn't the one getting. Uh, no, I'm saying the whole party. Either. Oh. No, just not the frog thing. Just a little, you know. No, I was planning on telling him anyway. Just was going to torture him. You know, the staff looks like it's a casting of small penises, <laughs> or something like that, right? Ooh, but no, he knows what it is. Penises, eh? Oh my! Yeah, think about it. You, you can give a willy to a, a giant and give him a small willy. Or I could put it's a willy funny in his ear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I haven't even seen it yet. Where is it in Party Treasure? It's, it's uh, under the bag of holding. It, yeah, it's in the bag of holding. So you tell me what me. it is. Like he kind of already knows. I got bag a, of holding. I, I don't see bag of holding. It is. Yeah. It is a weapon it, called her staff. It does one d six bludgeoning, and is that an additional one d eight magic, or is it whether I use it as a versatile weapon? Then it becomes one d eight magic. Versatile is is yeah. Versatile. Uh, you can use it in two hands. If you use it with two hands, you get the one d8. If you use it with one hand, you get the one d6. Okay. And it is a plus two. Yeah. So it gives me a plus two bonus to my attack rolls and damage when I use that weapon. Right. Is that right. only so you... for melee hitting, or is that for yeah. his his no, unluckiness for... with his? Oh, okay. So just yeah. his tickle sticking. Yeah, just his tickle sticking. So if you drag that over, it should. So is Brendan the only one who has access to this um, bag of holding? Bag of holding? Yeah. Because I can't oh, find it anywhere. Yeah, I'm the oh. only one with the character sheet. Yeah, I don't know how I can... That's fine. But just yeah. if I want to do this trick you know, later on down the road, at least I want to be able so he can't see what I identify. Yeah. Or whoever it might be. Because this could be fun for Pilgrim. You know, he likes teasing people. Plus four, yeah. Okay. Because correct me if I'm wrong, I'm identifying. It's not like it pops up with little special letters saying this is what it is to everyone else. It's me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it works. So it's, oh, so that's it's what it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, but it's still one d six on there. Yeah, and I don't know how to change it to versatile. 
He likes teasing people. Now your people, tickles to Kadoom uh, really, really is a tickles to Kadoom. No, we're going to have to make another one. Um, give me one second. Elgin likes teasing, but he, uh, he doesn't like taking it back, like with the frogs. No, hell no. <laughs> he's a, he, he him, is a uh, munchkin, right? So he's had to live with people torturing him for uh, ever. Well, what are you doing? Bingo, when, when you're only three foot four? <laughs> Mattis has got his eye on you. He 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 knows it's a strip of hair a strip of hair missing. <laughs> okay, I see what you did. <laughs> hey, now I used the hair from my nuts to cover it up on your back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't quite enough. <laughs> There's never enough, man. You're hairy. No. And Jax is swearing up and down. Uh, I didn't. And this do is it. why I love the party for because I think this is going to be something like, like I would never intentionally kill one of my own comrades. But the fact of the matter is the fact that you guys want to see, well, two of you want really to see me get eaten by a frog. No, I wanted to see you get licked, not eaten. It would have ate me. A lick would have eaten me. It didn't matter. It worked out in the end. Oh, it did because I got away from the line of sight. He took out half the frogs. Help it if you're pint sized to a frog, <laughs> Bill and I'm guessing Paul's going to be looking for more creatures with that ability that are faster. We can't help it if you're the size of a mosquito to a giant fr fly. But wouldn't that mean it'd be for a giant would have a harder time hitting me when I'm so small? There you go. Tickled, and then I will put... I'll stick a doom? Version 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I did it. Is that useful versatile? Yeah, it looks like it. I thought so, but my spelling sucks. So you're taking this uh, staff, Presmere? I'm the only one that can use yeah. it. Good. That's how I'm wording it in the notes. I mean, his tickle stick probably does more damage than, or hits more often than any of his spells. Because succeed, you're not when you succeed. Well, no, it's, it's good. My, my spells I can hit with no problem, but my alchemical bomb is a cantrip. My cantrip okay, is that's crap. yeah, that's not even a yeah. Okay, that's yeah. You're right. That's you not go. spells a cantrip. So yeah, like I have because dude, that just sucks. I spell. wish it could be a roll so you get some luck onto it because the succeed and fail just to eat. You got no luck. Yeah. yeah. So do you guys want to get that stuff un or identified? Yeah, let's get the gems. If we're here, we might as well get them uh, identified. DM, in the future, mm -hmm. couldn't we, with my tinkering ability and his uh, el chemist bombs, couldn't we come up with a homebrew thing as like a dart? Like, you know how you play a dart with a glass tip that shatters when he throws it, to, you know, just to, you know, kind of spice things up a little bit? That'd be kind of cool. We could try that. Uh, he says for all the items that you got to, um, to do, he's going to charge you 20 gold. That's it. Well, how uh, six gold? Hold on, there's six people. Thirty gold, so it's five gold a piece. Oh wow! Okay. Extracting the gold. So and he'll under, he'll identify all the items because he's probably going to end up buying most of them from you anyway. Yeah, but that's probably going to go right into our party treasure because we need a boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless, you know, at any time we can haul that money out if someone needs a supreme weapon, because we must have some money going in there. At least a little bit. Well then, I'm just seeing everything becoming identified. So is that in the bag of holding, so you're the only one seeing this? Yeah. Yeah. Buildings also, uh... You, you're a good, you're good just transcriber there, uh... Prismere, you can probably tell us, you know, oh, baby, or eh. Well, there's a couple good ones. I... There's a Zerite, which is a 10 gold a piece. So we got eight of them. Uh, then there is some Bloodstones. We have four of those. They're 50 a pop. <coughs> we got a Bronze or any... Crown. Or anything, something that we can use for our casting so we don't have to go apply for them again like we just did. Well, it's uh, it's all based on the gem value, right? So we don't have any a hundred gold gem here, right? Mm-hmm. So we'll just sell them all then. 
Yeah, oh, 25 gold on that. I think um, I think the next chance I get when I get a little bit more cash going on this guy, I think I'll buy one to keep in storage right. in case we have to identify for somebody. Yeah. Yeah, and that's <clears throat> And if you want, um, what we can do is drag those back, if you want to drag those back over to the party sheet under the inventory, and then I can sell them, and then I'll give you 100%. Okay. So if everyone wants to open up the party sheet, you'll be able to see what we uh, what we identified. Yeah. Bilgen identified those as well, did he? No. No. Oh, he gem oh, they were... If they were yeah, magical gems, ident- yes. Yeah, if they were magical gems, he could identify them. So this was the trader that did that then. Yeah. Yeah. Trader Joe. Wow. But Bilgen, Jill Bilgen was the one who identified the staff. Those bloodstones staff, right? were 50 gold yeah. each? Bloodstones? Yeah, they're 50 gold apiece. Wow. 10 gold apiece for the uh, first ones, the A ones. So did everybody subtract their, their money? 200. Yeah. And 50 uh, gold. Wow, we're, we're going to have a little boat I fund. I subtracted uh, 16. We need to subtract more. Yeah, another There five. were six... Yeah, another five because yeah, five. Four, another five. Identifying the yeah, okay. The so well wakes. So we're gonna have a nice little, uh, you know, boat fun starting. Yeah, what's Bilgen's so, weapon called, Steve? Backstabber. There's six hundred and thirty-four gold pieces. Nice. Why would so happen? You got... so, someone get a rage burden? No, I'm just making up a sheet. No. Oh. It's one of a kind. Wow, 634 gold, eh? Um, you want to just hold on. So how much is that our grand total for our If we throw this in the party, that would be 1764. 1764? Yeah. 700, but there's also uh, uh, 56 electrum pieces in here too, so that's also another... 28 pieces of gold there, so we'd be almost 1,800 gold. <laughs> nice. That's a nice little, little change for it. Okay, so has anyone got any objections to taking this whole 634 and throwing it in the party? I mean, we will always take it over to somebody who needs something desperately. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you need supplies or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like things like rations and stuff like that. They're all stuff that we're going to probably use party yep. treasure to buy for the group, right? And we also have 21 of them yep. sitting inside of the bag of holding. So we do have a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. So I would yeah. say... I'd say let's throw it in there. Are you okay with that, Gary? I think he's typing. Sounds... No problem with that. Can you guys hear me? Now we can. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, yep. So, yeah, I said go ahead. Yeah, I said go ahead, but I never. I don't know okay. if you guys heard me say okay. that. Can sorry, you drag so, it to the bag of holding? Oh, can you? So everybody should start checking their inventory. I don't see know. What we need to buy. Let's go. I'm gonna try it. Give me a second. Okay. We're gonna try. It works. Give everybody bag of holding access. No, no I can't. no. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that amount now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You no, how it. much was that? Then? You doubled it. It was six thirty-four. Uh, I can just add it together, Paul, if you can't drag it. Yeah, just, yeah that's fine. Just do it that way. I do want to try it, though. Four. Yeah, I can. Oh, I already added it. Okay. Let me put it back to 11.30. Yeah, I just want to try it. Okay, go for it. No, you doubled yeah, it again. Sorry, I know. What was that? 6.34? Yep. Um... I just want to know if this is possible, so yoink. Yep. Oh, it worked. Well, yeah. These guys are appraising in that. Belgium. Uh, Belgium. So, um, yeah, you need Belgium to work his magic, so he, uh, he had to be there. So Old mm-hmm. Swiftwood's going to go out and see if he can't hunt us up some more food supplies for the road. All right. And some more leather. Give me a nature check. Nature check? Isn't that survival? Or survival. Survival, yeah. Wh- which would it be? Nature or survival? Because either one's fine. It, well, it's survival. It, 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 it's, either, be. it's one of the no, other survival. I would say it would make more sense. Okay. 
Uh, do you want me to drop it in the the thing or? Oh. No, no, no. That can be publicized. Yeah. Survival. Survival. The DM may ask you to make a wisdom survival check following track hunt game. So it's a for survival check. Twenty. That's good. That's like damn good. <laughs> you find a nice, you find a nice sized deer that you're actually able to bring down, and got. Um, Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Uh, do you want me to do a leather know. leather working check to see uh, how I do yeah. with uh, getting the pelt off of it? Yeah. And okay, that is this one. Okay. And not bad at all. Twenty-five. You make okay. a nice deer skin rug out of it. Now, so it would that be good clean. to keep for the boat and that stuff in case it gets cold, keep people warm? Yep. So okay. you can just put in your... I can put in your inventory afterwards, but okay, I'll yeah. do it. No, uh, no important. And how much yield of meat do you think we're going to get to, to make a... Uh, I'll know, give you five days rations for each character, so 30 total. Oh. Okay, so everybody put in your party sheet an extra uh, five for me. Nice. So Thanks, I'm, I'm going to share... This guy shares everything. This is what his character is all about. Your viewers, I'm licking my lips. <clears throat> hey, don't forget me when you're swallowing your meat. <laughs> I, I knew there had to be a meat joke in there somewhere. I just knew it. They're always no. He, this character's more him. than he loves yeah. doing. Um, we're actually Belgium overbought last time for his supplies. He still has a 20-day 20, uh, 20 rations. He's going to give his five to um, Swiftwood. His Swiftwood okay. was quite down. I didn't buy nearly enough. Okay. You can make the transfers. You know I know. I've already done it. The meat. All right. So you guys have got your gems. Can you I got your buy supplies. some stuff? Yep, yeah, absolutely. What would you like to buy? Potions of healing. Ooh, Potions they're, they're expensive. Potions of healing. They are going to be a little expensive. Because we're on a small island, that's why. Well, I want to gear up before we go to the other island. I don't know what we're doing. Yeah, how many no. you got on you? Mattis has none. Okay, you definitely need one, dude. You at least need two regular potions of healing. Yeah, Jax has two, but yeah. yeah. Everybody check for potions exactly. of healing. Yeah, they're 50, gold. They're, they're 50 gold apiece. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have two... See, it's great because I have my healers, right? Both of my characters can heal. Yeah. So are they 50 gold apiece here, or are they a little more expensive because we're on an island? I'm going to give it, since you guys are starting off, I'll still give it to you at the 50 gold rate, 50 gold pieces. We're our money slim. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you know, Dom and gentlemen. Dom are buying two each. Okay, okay please add, add that all up. And I mean, I know we're a party. And why don't we divide it amongst all of ourselves so that way it's cheaper for everybody, even though I'm not buying none for myself because I have enough. But I'm still willing to donate some of my money to help out the party. That way we don't dip too much into our boat savings. Well, I'm not dipping into my boat savings. I'm dipping into my savings. Yeah, I know, but I want to help you not, you know, because I don't know how much money you have. Uh, 147, 170. Oh, Okay, you have a lot more than me. <laughs> yeah. Jackson oh, and Mattis are the, the, the two broke back mountain guys. Yeah. So, uh, oh, how much do you has, got? Mattis only has 16 gold, so he's going to pass. And Jackson only <laughs> has 36 gold, so he's going to pass as well. Yeah, but you don't we're have money too, to buy it yourself, so it's going to have to come on a party treasure. So. We're okay. too poor. Okay, so, so we're gonna I, will buy, I will buy two, four, six, I guess, in total. Oh, yeah, and take it as a party treasure. I mean, no, we'll have no. to. No, I, I got enough. I got enough but, on me. I can, I can break myself. But see, that's kind of what the, I know. The party treasures for the boat too, but the party treasure is also for this type of stuff, right? And in all oh, honesty, you this, want yeah. to have some yeah. healing potions. In all we honesty, do. I have two on each of my characters. Yeah, you want at least two. And if, if I've I'm done this correctly, bastard. I've everybody should have healing potions. I hope to God they have healing potions on their action tabs. Yes, I did it. Paul, well, yeah. uh, as a DM for my cantrip, I have mending. Does yeah. mending also include like it mends weapons and sharpens them and all that stuff to mend them back yes. to perfect? Is that how it is? I yes. want to go around to everybody who is in our group 